so once again a warm welcome to all so now we are moving on to our uh, last type that is belongs to the class phyophyta phylum phyophyta or brown algae so there are about 1500 species of brown algae worldwide they are marine forms you can see them in the ocean usually actually they are considered as the forest of ocean because they are that much profusely growing widely growing large forms hmm? okay and they are known as sea weeds or kelp they are kelp forest or sea weeds okay they are multicellular forms and large usually having length of 147 feet up to that it will grow okay so individual alga may grow to a length of 100 meter with a hold fast so these plants are usually used for cosmetics and ice creams etc and also fodder to uh, cows etc so these are very commonly used uh, algae economically very very important so uh, one among that brown algae is sargassum so in your syllabus you have to study the type sargassum as an example for brown algae so sargassum belongs to phyophyceae class phyophyceae order fucales family sargassaceae and genus sargassum you may be heard about a sargasso sea a common term name for a sea mm, that is spread with the kelp that is sargassum this is the plant sargassum brown leaf like structure present okay so uh, let let us study in detail about the type sargassum so sargassum occurrence i already told you that is marine form and plant body is large that is angiosperm like our higher plants like very large tree like okay so their plant body is diploid two n in number sporophyte and there are two parts hold fast what is hold fast the basal portion by which it attaches similar to the root of higher plants and this is the aerial portion and is the main axis center most portion is the main axis like a tree you can have a tree trunk like okay stem okay main axis then it bears number of structures that is a laterals that is primary lateral and secondary laterals okay they are arises from the main axis clear now the leaves leaves or the laterals bear stomata leaf bear stomata also so uh, in an appearance it look like our plants occurring in our terrestrial area and having a basal hold fast and an axis and the laterals primary and secondary okay now so another peculiar feature of the plant body or morphology is presence of air bladder so see like our grape like structure that is air bladders air bladders present on the axis that helps to float in the water give buoyancy okay now another peculiar part present in this uh, uh, habit is or in the plant is receptacles receptacles are the small branched structure like this usually the receptacles are appear like this they are the small branched structures so i will show you the receptacles so they are appear like this receptacles are usually like this like this structure this is present in the main axis actually what it bears it bears the reproductive part or conceptacle the receptacle is a branched structure that bear male conceptacle and female conceptacle okay these produced at the time of reproduction male conceptacle bears the male reproductive part and the radia and female conceptacle bear female reproductive part ugonia understood so the main axis with the primary laterals and secondary laterals branching also there air bladder present receptacle present receptacle bears conceptacle then leaves leaves are the laterals leaves bear stomata also okay now look into this anatomy this is very important you have to take section of the stem in the practical class you have to take the section of the stem or the main axis what are the different regions when you observe under microscope 
you can see the three important parts when you cross sect the stem or axis. First part is the assimilatory zone that is assimilation preparation of food by sunlight that is photosynthetic. This sargassum contains a pigment brown pigment fucosanthin. So the photosynthetic pigments present in the layer that is meristoderm okay that is assimilatory zone. Then it is followed by storage region that contains the stored food materials and next is the centermost part conducting zone that is tightly packed thick walled cells where food transportation of food material is taken that, uh, that transfer food materials to other part of the body. So you can let into the diagram see this is the cross section see this is the centermost portion and this portion is called as the uh, centermost portion that is the medulla uh, or medulla is the centermost portion and this is the second most portion that uh, told as the cortical region and this is the meristoderm. See that is assimilatory zone is the outermost, storage region is the centermost. Okay. So this is the medulla that is the conducting region. This is the meristoderm. And this is the assimilatory zone that is photosynthetic in function. Okay. Now, somewhat the same structure is also observed in leaf. When you transect or when you cut a section of the leaf and observe under microscope, you can see the parts like this. Leaf shape is elliptical along it like this elliptical shape. Outer layer is provided with a cell uh, called a stomata. This is the leaf cryptostomata small gap or small hole in which uh, open outside that is cryptostomata that is uh, cryptostomata or cryptoblast or it is actually a sterile conceptacle it contain cavity that cavity bear numerous uh, hairs that is known as paraphyses okay so this is the structure then when you cross sect a leaf you can see same somewhat similar structure that of the stem a central conducting tissue and meristoderm, the cortical region and meristoderm. Clear? This is the medulla or the central conducting tissue. Not this is the medulla. This is the medulla and this is the highest. See, there's some mistakes in that diagram. Medulla is the center portion and this is the highest present in the cryptostomata. And this is the cortex. Okay. And this outermost region is the meristoderm. That is the okay see so these are the parts of the uh, leaf okay so leaf again contain meristoderm or assimilator region cortex and medulla then cryptostomata or the uh, cryptoblast or the sterile concept okay now next is the structure of the cryptostomata this is a cryptostomata or cryptoblast that contain the hairs that is known as paraphyses. Okay. Now, reproduction. Sargassum reproduces by vegetative and sexual. There is no asexual reproduction. Vegetative reproduction is it multiplies uh, profusely by fragmentation, breaking the thallus and that develop into new plant by injury or death or somewhere else. And uh, sexual reproduction is very important. That is oogamous. You studied Ugamas reproduction in Edagonium, in Cara, etc. It is by male sex organ Anthridia and female sex organ Ugonia. Where it is forming? Anthridia in male conceptacle, Ugonia in female conceptacle. Where you can see conceptacle that is produced in the branched structure known as receptacle present in the main axis. Okay. So, receptacle bear conceptacle. Conceptacle are two types. Male conceptacle produce andridia. Female conceptacle produce ugonia. Clear? Okay. Now, these are the branched structure known as the uh, receptacles that bear conceptacle. This is the air bladder. This is the leaf. Okay. Now, conceptacle structure. It is a flask shaped structure and having an opening known as osteol. Osteol is the opening. Okay. And from the cavity inside there are number of hairs that is paraphyses. You studied this hair in the cryptoblast also in the stomata also. That is hair present in the cavity paraphyses. 
and hair at the mouth is known as periphysis two types of hair see uh, compare if it is a conceptacle see what is present uh, the opening this opening is known as ostiole and number of hairs produced from uh, lower portions are known as what uh, that is known as what paraphysis and hairs present at the uh, this region opening region that is mouth region that is what periphysis understood so a flask shape with an opening known as ostiole hair at the base is what paraphysis inside hair at the mouth is what periphysis this is a typical structure of a conceptacle clear now conceptacle bearing antheridia is male conceptacle and that bearing ugonia is female conceptacle okay if it is homothallic or monoecious means what male conceptacle and female conceptacle in a single sargassum plant okay so a sargassum plant bear both male and female conceptacle is monoecious mono means single if they are produced in different conceptacle that is what dioecious clear now first one is antheridia this is this is the male conceptacle see ostiole what is present hair at the mouth is periphysis hair at the lower portion is paraphysis and this is the antheridia so each conceptacle contain many antheridia see these are all antheridia many antheridia and they are produced in the lower portion and mature antheridia are ovoid wall of antheridia this is a wall of antheridia that is outer two halves outer uh, lining and inner lining outer lining is exochite and inner is endochite okay then a mature antheridia contain 64 anthrozoids how many 64 anthrozoids present inside this antheridia okay that releases anthrozoids having flagellated unequal flagella present this is the anthrozoid having two flagella one is the tinsel and one is the whiplash flagella pear shaped anthrozoids the next is a female concept glugonia somewhat same structure with ostiole paraphysis uh, this is periphysis that is wrong paraphysis here this is what periphysis p e r i periphysis paraphysis then at the wall inner side you can see ugonium spherical shaped ugonium see ugonium with the cytoplasm and food reserves and ugonia this structure also having outer exochite and inner endochite wall of ugonia then ugonia uh, are liberated through ostiole uh, or attached to the gelatinous disc usually this will come outside like gelatinous disc and ugonia come here and we, that will discharge out this is the microscopic view see this is the lower ugonia and this is the antheridial structures and fertilization liberated anthrozoids swim towards ugonia and attached with ugonia and fuse then resulting product is what is zygote that germinate by attaching to the conceptacle wall okay so this is a structure uh, of the receptacle cross section through the receptacle and this is the cross section of uh, male conceptacle antheridia you can see this is the anthrozoids and this is a female structure see this is the first condition where ugonia is at the base and this is the ugonia coming out how through the gelatinous stalk this is the gelatinous stalk or mucilaginous stalk by through the stalk it come out and antheridia anthrozoids swim in water and this anthrozoids swim in water and attaches to what ugonia and fertilization take place after fertilization it again shrinks and grow here as a zygote then development take place this is a fertilized egg so many anthrozoids attaches but only one fertilizes uh, the diploid nucleus divides then haploid condition then multiplication and germination take place see now this is a sargassum how its life cycle is going on sargassum plant branch bear receptacle two types of receptacle are there male receptacle and female receptacle male receptacle bear antheridia female bear ugonia then sperms antheridia releases egg or anthros uh, releases anthrozoids female egg fusion take place then again uh, germination develop into new sargassum plant that's a life cycle see 
fragmentation and stall any some structure produced in the root region that is very rare fragmentation one, si one type of reproduction another type is uh, male conceptacle female conceptacle both are diploid plants male andridian diploid oogonium diploid after meiosis sperm or androsoids after meiosis egg or ovum fertilization is i got diploid germinate into sargassum this is the typical life cycle of sargassum in the sargassum you have to remember about a concept so in the sargassum while studying you have to uh, the questions from uh, structure of uh, conceptacle male and female conceptacle then uh, explain this structure that is a flask shaped with an ostiole hair at the wall is periphysis hair at the uh, cavity is what paraphysis then andradium is branched many uh, produces androsoids oogonium is globular both having wall exokite and mesokite then oogonium during maturity form a stalk and coming out androsoids swim in water they attaches to oogonia fertilization take place and the product is zygote they grow inside the wall of female conceptacle then zygote is diploid undergo meiosis and produce haploid plant clear okay so this is very important questions uh, discuss the morphology of sargassum that's also very important uh, discuss uh, the structure of conceptacle and how reproduction taking place okay so i hope you understood well and this plant is very very important usually this algae may asking for essay type questions so draw the diagrams and study well okay thank you